Hello everyone, welcome to our class in health. So for today's video, we will talk about the psychoactive drugs. To begin with, we will define what is psychoactive drugs. So have you heard about the proposed medical marijuana bill? Do you think this should be passed by lawmakers? So for today, we will discuss um, the advantages and disadvantages of this bill. But before that, let's define what is psychoactive drugs. So when we say psychoactive drugs, these are the chemical substances that affect a person's mental or emotional state. Then it can be affect mood, thought processes, perceptions, and behavior. Psychoactive drugs or substances are used by people depending on what effects the substances produce on the body. People who want to stay alert may take stimulants with those who are depressed may take substances that will induce sleep. So we have here the following um, commonly used psychoactive substances. We have here the four main groups of psychoactive drugs. First is the hallucinogens. Second one is the inhalants. Third is the narcotics. And the last one is the stimulants. People use psychoactive drugs to change their alertness, alter their mental states, blunt awareness of life stresses, seek some type of inner truth. Psychoactive drugs can affect central nervous system and can be especially damaging to the developing brain and body of a teen. First, let's talk about the hallucinogen. So, hallucinogen is a substance that produces psychological effects that tend to be associated with phenomena such as dreams, or religious exaltation or with mental disorders such as xyrophrenia. Hallucinogens produce changes in perception, thought, and feeling ranging from distortions of what is sense or illusions to sensing objects where none exist or the hallucinations. Hallucinogens heighten sensory signals, but this is often accompanied by loss of control over what is experienced. We have here the powerful and dangerous hallucinogens. So, we will be focusing on phenylcyclidine and lysergic acid diethylamide. So, let's have first the phenylcyclidine or the what we call PCP. So, when we say PCP or the angel dust, it is one of the most dangerous of all drugs and its effects vary greatly from user to user. The drug creates a distorted sense of time, increased muscle strength, Increase feelings of violence and the inability to feel pain. Phenylcyclidine or PCP was previously used as a drug for intravenous anesthesia. The use of the drug was discontinued medically due to its effects of delirium. So we have here the short term effects. So when we have the low doses, um, feeling of being separated from the body, numbness, confusion, and dizziness. But when you take high doses, you may take scissors and coma. Next, let's have the lysergic acid diethylamide or the what we call LSD. So LSD produces marked deviations from normal behavior probably the consequence of its inability to inhibit the action of serotonin, though the mechanism of the drug remains uncertain. 
LSD was used experimentally in medicine as a psychotomimetic agent to induce mental states that were believed to resemble those actual psychotic disease. Lysergic acid diethylamide or the LSD is in another hallucinogen that gained popularity as a recreational drug in the 1960s. Short-term effects are hallucinations, increased body temperature, heart rate and blood pressure, loss of appetite, impulsive behavior, and the long-term effects is black or flashbacks. Now, let's proceed to inhalants. Inhalants are volatile substances that produce chemical vapors that can be inhaled to induce a psychoactive or mind-alerting effect. It is used to describe a variety of substances whose main common characteristic is that they are rarely, if ever, taken by any route other than inhalation. Inhalants are substances in gas form that can be inhaled to exert effects on the body or the brain. Rubber cement is an example of inhalant. When we say rubber cement, it is a type of a product sealant which produces a volatile product with a distinct smell. Recreational drug by Poverty is striking children in the streets. We have here the short-term effects, which are confusion, intense feeling of excitement, and the long-term effects are liver and kidney damage and nerve destruction leading to tremors and movement impairment. Next is the nitrites. When we say nitrites, it is used to decrease the blood pressure of the people with hypertension. The liquid from the that emits gas, commonly known as the poppers, and it has been used as a recreational drug during sex. The short-term effects are brief period of excitement and heat, dizziness and headache, and increased heart rate. The long-term effects is it may lead to high-risk behavior leading to acquisition of sexually transmitted infections and HIV. Now, let's proceed to the narcotics. Narcotics are drugs used in medicine to relieve pain and induce sleep. The best example of narcotics are Opioids. Opioids are codeine, oxycodone, and morphine. Heroin and opium are opioids illegally sold in the streets to be smoked, injected, or ingested. The short-term effects are intense feeling of happiness, alternating drowsy and alert states, and dry mouth, skin flushing, slow breathing. The long-term effects is risk of acquiring HIV, high hepatitis, and infection of the heart valves due to sharing of needles for intravenous drug use. The withdrawal symptoms are restlessness, difficulty sleeping, diarrhea and vomiting, and muscle and bone pains. Sedatives or anxiolytics is one example of narcotics. When we say sedatives or anxiolytics, it is given to induce sleep. These medications may be given prior to giving general anesthesia to a person undergoing a surgical procedure. They may be given also to people suffering from depression or agitation. Examples of sedatives and anxiolytics are benzodiaphenines and barbiturates. The short-term effects are drowsiness and relaxation and overdose leading to 
cessation of breathing. Long-term effects is tolerance and the withdrawal symptoms is abrupt withdrawal can lead to life-threatening seizures. Now, let's have the last one, which is the stimulants. Stimulants are substances that increase the alertness and physical strength of a person. However, these effects are only temporary. Let's have the examples of stimulants. And the first one is the cocaine. Cocaine is a rapidly acting, powerful, and highly addictive stimulant. Users may experience a surge of self-confidence and euphoria followed by an emotional letdown. The short-term effects are decreased appetite and sleep, increased alertness and physical strength, violent or violent behavior in high doses, increased heart rate and blood pressure, dilated pupils. Long-term effects are anxiety, paranoia, insomnia, damage of nasal bones due to snorting, risk of contracting HIV due to needle shearing, and the withdrawal symptoms are depression, fatigue, insomnia, or increased sleeping time. Methamphetamine hydrochloride is an example also of stimulants. When we say methamphetamine hydrochloride, it is commonly known as shabu. It is a stimulant that commonly comes as a white powder. It affects the brain by including the production of more dopamine, which is the chemical signal for the reward and pleasure centers of the brain. Methamphetamine can be inhaled, ingested, or injected through the veins. The short-term effects are enhanced mood, decreased appetite, increased physical strength and sexuality, increased heart rate and blood pressure. The long-term effects are memory loss, confusion and paranoia, weight loss, kidney and liver damage, damage to nasal bone due to snorting, infection of cardiac valves due to injecting of the drug, risk of contracting HIV due to sharing of needles, and the withdrawal symptoms are depression and anxiety. Now, let's have the next example of a stimulants, which is methylene dioxide, methamphetamine, or the what we call MDMA. MDMA is also known as the ecstasy. It is a drug commonly used by people in rave parties. The short-term effects are increased feeling of happiness and alertness, decreased fear, increased sensitivity to touch, increase or irregular heartbeat, dehydration, and chills. Long-term effects are impulsiveness and irritability and anxiety. Now, let's have the what we call cannabinoids. When we say cannabinoids, these are the substances that act on cannabinoid receptors in the brain that affect mood and appetite. They are a special group of substances with stimulant and depressant effects, but they are not narcotics. A plant rich in um, cannabinoids is the cannabis sativa. Now, let's have the last one, which is the marijuana. Marijuana is mind alerting drug that is derived from the dried leaves of the plant cannabis or cannabis sativa. The short-term effects are intense feelings of happiness and excitement followed by sleepiness and relaxation, diminished short-term memory, judgment, coordination, and balance, increased heart rate and appetite. The long-term effects are it may cause hallucinations, depression and anxiety, and chronic cough. 
The withdrawal symptoms is difficulty sleeping and irritability. And that ends our lesson about psychoactive substances. So let's keep in mind that psychoactive substances cause a lot of distress to the body. They can cause depression, anxiety, and change in sleeping and eating patterns which eventually result in accelerated aging. People who use substances can look much older than their actual age. So next meeting, we will be discussing about the substance use or the effects on the family, school, and community of these psychoactive substances that we discussed today. So that's end our lesson. God bless everyone.